Django 1911 here. Hello and welcome to my channel. We are going to be doing an unboxing. I just got hold of a few knives that got in and this is one of them. Why start is one of those knife companies in China and they have got a reputation for turning out really good sharp knives so I did not hesitate to check out what new offerings that they have and this would be it uh, see uh, excuse the packaging that's why these are nicely affordable knives because they get away from those expensive packaging aside from that that just this No, it did not arrive. It's torn up. It just got torn up somewhere here in the house. I saw this and it was like a flipper and there was like a design on the G10 and it's red, flame red on black. And I said, wow, that's nice. Maybe Axis Lock? Axis. Axis Lock. And a flipper. very soft lock as it comes from the factory grubby 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 blade hey it's it's not rusting at least it's doing its job of coating the blade and not making it rust. Wow, that was off. Sorry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Needs to be cleaned. Thumb, thumb stud opening. Thumb stud opening. The lockup is just very smooth. You know, it's it barely makes a sound. And when it closes, there's still some, it's soft here, see? Oh, sorry. There's a rough, rough part here when this one engages, see? It moves. That needs to be oiled up there somewhere, that contact point. Because I can feel the roughness here. Oh, when it's here, as you... I didn't make it free fall be easy I already hit the table again oh well hmm that was the lock it's not it's not us this is gonna anyways d2 d2 steel and d2 steel is already a premium steel already and the, the mid low mid range but I take D2 steel end time especially if it's nicely ground straight knife yeah straight knife the finish straight knife that was, that's a straight knife the finish finish is really nice it's uniform there's no bird edges on the flame on the secondary G10 it's like one G10 on top of the other yeah or no I don't know how this it's milled or is it glued wow all i know is it's nicely done holding it on the tip 
there is a very slight slight movement but you cannot feel it here or anything there's no movement when you do that in the blade so it's nice and solid in the close position centering centering is I'd say that's hundred percent the blade grind is a bit it's not touching on this left side but the centering is spot on the deployment with the thumb stud is very positive and very stealthy a bit of job there would smoothen this out as you encounter the lock see I need to smoothen that action out because it's smooth here when you unlock it from here it's smooth when you see it's just really smooth it's with it's when it hits the lock that it's not smooth so when you put it out the way just pull it it's really smooth huh? that's really smooth but with the lock on it's kind of gritty and a few lubrication precise lubrication on that part I and usage as well I'm sure it would just be nice and smooth as it goes so how heavy are you Six point seven ounces, point forty one pounds, one hundred ninety grams, point one ninety kilograms, six point seven ounces. A little bit on the heavy side, but it's a solid knife. Not it doesn't feel big. Not at all. It's it's just thick and chunky and robust for a knife this size. I mean you can make this knife thinner, make it everything make it lighter. But this knife is not it, it's just one solidly built knife. I'm looking for that sound, ah, there it is. It's a bit springy, so every time you touch it to anything, see, it like, it makes a tuning fork <laughs> style, so I was one, I was, I was asking where it came from so it comes came, comes from that so there's no other wiggly part in the knife besides that tuning fork style tip down carry tip down is I prefer the tip down carry I think it's safer especially if this is against your pocket the wall of your pocket so that's you're carrying this and this pocket seem like that so the wall of your pocket is it's not gonna go down anywhere so because that's the pocket wall here so deployment from the pocket you're probably gonna do that and as you pull as you pull let me just be go into that position and a thumb stud opening would already be there so I would prefer this tip down the tip is down as you carry it in your pocket that's the tip down position and would be a preferred style of carry for me so the blade is still smudgy haven't wiped it off yet but the build quality is really nice and the blade shape I mean there's like a hinder style chisel here see and it's nicely done not much printing there just why start I mean, they have this knife it's looks like a hinder knife I'm not sure that is a nice knife 
How sharp are you, nice knife? I ran out of those crunchy, crunchy handouts from credit card statement, so we're back to our old plain paper. How sharp are you? Chinese? Why start? And this is not the crunchy paper. This is just the regular. Yeah. Regular paper. I would say that. Pretty sharp. Expected of a D2 steel. Expected of, of a quality coming from Y Star, the Chinese factory. That really is chunking out good knives. So never underestimate anything. I mean, this is just like not that expensive of a knife, but hey if you have this I mean look at that added grip from the double it's like a double grip here with the flame flame ID on the red with black and it looks good in red proper red black matching my gloves in the reverse edge position the reverse talon grip there's a bit of bulk here because of that pocket clip, but not a problem. Other side, other side feels better because the pocket clip is here, so there's no bulk there. Pair that was here, so it's better here. Not no problem with this as well. You can live with it. Okay, I can't find anything to put here, so oh, sorry. I'm not really a good job of preparing things. Okay, wow, that looks good actually. That was a hair hair tie. Okay, thanks for watching. I mean, I've, I haven't been doing some videos, and this was the first one for a long time, so. And thank you for watching, yes. Uh, I would be doing more videos as we go. And as always, I will be seeing you guys the next time.